it's Hannah here and thanks for coming to my channel. In today's video I'll be sharing with you some of my stuff from my jewelry collection. So if you're interested about jewelry and all things jewelry then you're in the right place. But before we get into this video make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because I do post new videos here every week. Also follow me on Instagram at the Ali because I'm always on Instagram if not here on YouTube. But without further ado let's get straight into this video. Alright so I'm not going to waste any time. We're going to dive straight in I just want to make it very clear that most of the jewelry I'm going to show you it is mostly gold plated pieces that I've got a lot from some online brands or just some brands you know here and there but most of the stuff I'm going to show you in today's video is gold plated most of my real gold jewelry I do not keep on hand I like to keep it safe and away from to use for occasion or it's for keepsakes so yeah I just want to make that clear and let's get into it so I guess I can kind of start with what I have on the two necklaces these two pieces I have are from the brand vibe season I think I have maybe one more thing from them these are the two main pieces I have from vibe season this one is their 1994 this is actually their birth year necklace now they do a lot of customizing jewelry these both are 14 karat gold plated on I think one of them is sterling silver and the other one is on which one was it on again I don't remember what the material was but they're both gold plated this one has my birth year which is 1994 and then this one right here it is my initial with an H I don't know if you can see that so I'll come in close to you but here you have 1994 and birth year and then my initial right there they're very everyday good everyday pieces that i can kind of match with anything and i think them layered together is really pretty earrings i have on is i actually have these huggies right here and these are the cross huggies this is from another brand that is really i really enjoy this brand a lot they're pretty inexpensive and she has really nice pieces it's from the brand xixi it is by Miss Adrian Bailon. i love her pieces i think they're really trendy on trend and they are gold plated as well but this is her cross baguette huggies and I really really like these because I like the size of her huggies. I think they're big enough to where you can see them but they're not too big if that makes sense. And then the little piercing I have this I actually got um, when I got my second hole pierced just a while ago at Piercing Pagoda. It's just a 14 karat gold um 14 karat gold stayed but yeah so these are the pieces i have and then the rings i have on right now i think these are all from the same brand yeah these are all from the same brand so these are all from the brand ceo by let and that is if you guys i'm pretty sure you know her but kathleen lights here on youtube her sister her older sister actually has her own jewelry brand so these are the pieces from her brand as you can see right here this one is like a crescent moon this is like a sun i really really love rings like these i think these are super trendy and just you can wear them all year round and then you have like this cuban link ring and these are all adjustable by the way so you can see so you can adjust it to your fingers which is really really nice and then again these are also 14 karat gold plated jewelry so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and show you some more pieces how do people do these videos i think these are so hard i'm gonna so i actually have my two jewelry boxes in front of me i think it's gonna be a little hard for me to like keep putting them on i have to see how i'm gonna do this but i can show you all of my rings first since that's the easiest thing to put on okay so i went ahead and put my other rings on just to be an easier way to showcase you guys the rings but here we go that focuses this one right here it's like another one of those chain links this is from adina's adina's i do have quite a few pieces from adina's but this specific this specific ring is from adina's and then this ring on top i don't know if you guys can see that this really pretty one with the heart and the pearl that's from seal by let and then right here and this one's actually another one by seal by let it's that it's like a half sun right here this cross adjustable ring is from Alex and Annie and I think Alex and Annie is also gold plated if I'm not mistaken and then these other two adjustable ones right here are also from Alex and Annie so these are my mainly most of all my rings I don't really like to have a lot of rings I like to keep my rings very minimal just to be able to stack it obviously I wouldn't stack it like this the other three rings I showed you so these are all my rings as of right now of course every I was every month I'm always getting some new pieces added to my collection because of PR or when I when there's just drops. So these are the rings I have now that are part of my plated collection. But I really like these. They're very pretty, dainty, Tron trend. You can kind of wear them every day, mix and match, which is what I really like out of my jewelry, just to be able to mix and match them, stack them, but be able to wear them every day and it doesn't look like too much. But yeah, so this is a mix of Adina's, 
Sealed by Yvette and oh yeah, Alex and Annie. That's what I have on my fingers right now. Oh, I also forgot to mention this other ring that I have, so I can kind of put it on my pointer finger right here. This is like very on trend. You see the baguette ring right here. This is from Adina's. Thought I mentioned it. I guess now I can kind of move into my earrings just because I do have quite a collection of huggies, I will say in some hoops. So I'm, I try to keep it super minimal. I'm a super minimalistic person. Necklaces are the only thing I really stack and layer, but when it comes to earrings and ring, I, I like to keep it very minimal. So as you can see, I have these huggies right here. Most of my other huggies are from Adina's. I think, and the reason being is Adina's kind of got me into huggies. I think that's one of Adina's, the most popular thing are their huggies. So I have these huggies right here. These huggies right here, they're like the little butterflies and all of Adina's, most of Adina's huggies that I have are the 14 karat gold pay. These are the little butterfly huggies. Pave eye huggy right here. I don't know if you can see like an evil eye. Pave huggy, I have those. I think that I have two more huggies from Adina's and that is the really popular locks. And then I have this like Pave lightning bolt huggy from Adina's. I don't know if you can see. If you can, it's a very, very small lightning bolt. The thing with Adina's is Adina's has very dainty jewelry. I would, if you're gonna look on Adina's, I would say really be careful, look at their product details because a lot of times when I first started buying from them, I've noticed that their pictures make their jewelry look a lot bigger than when they come in person. So I will just like mention that about Adina's. Other than that, I've really had no problem with Adina's so far. I do have a lot of ear cuffs from Adina's. Like I have this ear cuff right here. It's like the baguette, 14 karat gold plated baguette ear cuff. And then I have uh, the bar to put like on the top right here. This is from Adina's as well. So I do have quite a few things from Adina's. I'm trying to think what else I have from Adina's. Thing right here, these this Cuban link drop earrings right here. This is from Adina's. And then these little pretty sun earrings are from Sio Bailet to match. It was like a collection, that sun collection that they kind of sent in the bag. So yeah, those are all from Adina's. I think those are my only Adina's pieces. I think I may have like one or two necklaces from Adina's, but when it comes to earrings... Oh wait, actually I have one more. <laughs> my bad. So I have this really pretty like weird geometric shape huggy. I don't know if you can see that. It's really cool. And then it has the pave in the front. Of it. I would sit here and try all these on, but it's a lot of things to try on and go through. I think this is just the easier way. Now to kind of show you some of the hoops I have. So I have these this evil eye hoops right here. So I have this hoop right here with a little evil eye on it. This is from Adina's. Again, I'm going to just go ahead and show you all my Adina's stuff first. And then this other hoop right here, it's really cool. It's kind of like it acts like a huggy so that you put as a huggy and then it's a hoop and it has pave on it. This is also from Adina's. And the last earring I have from Adina's is this hoop. I really like this hoop. It's really, really light and easy to wear and it has the pave on it, but I like it because look, that's all you have to do to put it on. It is the most easiest to put on, which is why I really like that one. That's enough of Adina's when it comes to earrings. Now, I have the other brand that I really like earrings from is XIXI, which is by Adrienne Bailon. And I just went ahead and got her new collection that she dropped. It's like their butterfly collection. And she had these really pretty hoops. If I don't know if you can see these right here. My camera focuses and they have the pave, but look how pretty these hoops are. They're definitely not for everyone. If you want like a big hoop, they're really nice. If you like big hoops and it has a really pretty pave butterfly on it and these are also plated so when it comes to earrings that's pretty much it for my earring collection of course i'm you know i'm always adding more but as of right now i think those are most all of my earrings i wanted to share it with you guys oh actually i forgot two pairs of earrings so which is funny because one of them is my favorite and you guys probably see it so much in my videos is these hoops right here they're like the braided curve hoops. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on. I wear these so, so much. You probably see me wear these quite a bit if you watch my videos. Love these. And this one is by Seal by Let. And then another, um, I have these ear crawlers. This is also by Seal by Let. I don't know if you can see that right there. Those are also by her. And then since I was talking about the butterfly collection with you guys, I have these right here and they're also from of course XXI from her butterfly collection. They're these butterfly huggies, the pave ones. This is why I really, really like XIXI and their earrings because I think the size of her earrings are just so... They're perfect to where you're able to see the design, but they're not huge. So these three pieces are by Sio by Yilette. That ring I was showing you guys, it has that 
crescent moon on it this is from her coven collection and then this is that sun necklace you guys have probably seen this so many times in many of my videos so this is also from Seal by Let, and then this one right here it's like a wrap with that pearl design this is also by Seal by Let. these all three of these chains can be short long they have the extension link on the back but just to showcase you guys that's kind of why I had to put it like this all these are also gold plated and I think Seal by Let just makes really pretty dainty pieces as well very wearable i've worn the sun one quite a bit and i always get compliments whenever i wear this one so these are all by a seal by elette so these are just some of the lasses i wanted to show you a little bit more necklaces but i didn't think they were that worthy to show i think they're very plain just the texture ones i think and i don't I haven't really touched so much these are just some pieces that i wear a lot more often so just to let you know these are all from xixi from agent by Lon line so you have this cuban link plated necklace and then this one right here these these both are from her New York collection. I don't know if you can see this one. It has the initial H in it. I don't know if you can see that with the CZs around it. And then these right here are all separate. I just had to layer it for the purpose of the video. This is just a separate butterfly, coffee butterfly necklace. These are, were really meant to layer, so I layered it the way I would. This is a choker with pave on the butterflies. And then you have the stone all over stone choker right here. And it has three butterflies. I don't know if you can see it. So these are all from XIXI. As you can see, very on trend very pretty pretty pieces to layer i think i would even just layer i could even layer without the cuban link chain i would really like that just you can see it like that that's pretty on its own but just for the purposes of wanting to show you guys the pieces this is why i layered it but yeah so but all right guys that's it from my jewelry collection i hope you enjoyed this video of course i'll be adding on so much more to my collection so if you guys like these kind of jewelry based videos let me know maybe i can do something related to jewelry more often but please make sure to uh, 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 uh. <laughs> please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because i do post new videos here every week also follow me on instagram at the hen ali because i do showcase a lot of my jewelry pieces on there as well and make sure you go down in the description below because i will link all the jewelry pieces that i showed in this video if you guys want to check anything out but besides that i hope you guys have a beautiful day whenever you're watching this and i will see you in the next video bye guys